Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Right, a lot of people have, oh, I've been saying uh, to do a bigger project, so uh, I finished this off. Uh, this is all legit build, and I started to build uh, my castle, which I've done the outline of it. Um, it's not a massive, massive castle, but it is not a bad one. Uh, so we need absolutely tons and tons and tons of stuff. Uh, this is the stuff that I've gathered so far. But um, we're going to need a lot more. So we're going to go uh, up here. Well, I don't really need to say we're going to go up here. Because you can see uh, what I'm doing. Oh, there it is. Um, my little mine. And we'll probably use most of this up. I would imagine so. Uh, so today, right? Um, I've actually had a, a conversation uh, with Corallus. Um I'm not sure if a lot of people know, but he's getting a really big YouTuber now. I think he's on about nearly close to sixty thousand subscribers, and he gets a lot of views per video. Um, I talked to him yesterday because uh, I don't know whether people are aware but um, he actually I don't know whether he still does watch my videos but he did used to watch my videos and he was a subscriber way before um, he was as big as him as he was now I think he was up I think he's about 3,000 subscribers when I started talking to him when I was on about 9 so uh, he was on quite low when we first started um, but uh, we're on about doing some collabs and stuff but he's a busy man most people are when they get to a certain amount of uh, subscribers and they're not really that interested in doing stuff with uh, people that are, are low lower subscribers because obviously they're not going to get nothing from it um, but he said uh, he would and he's usually a man of his word and he says what he does he's just a busy guy He's um, older than me. No, actually, no, I think I'm older than him. I just look younger because, you know, I'm a good looking chap and all that. <coughs> okay, probably not. Probably trying to toot my horn too much there. Right, we need to get rid of all this. Um, and we're not going to talk about, because this is going to be boring me doing all this. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to talk about films I think no we're not we're gonna talk about PCs right I remember way back when I was a child we we're talking about about 1984 so that is quite a way away ago and um, everything just hit the craze of um, the ZX Spectrum the ZX Spectrum is not people aren't aware it's basically the first ever personal computer um, and I used to play games like Chucky Egg and, oh god, what else was it? Checkered Flag, which was like um, a Formula One simulator. And I used to spend hours, and my dad used to spend hours and hours programming from a book um, to uh, a cassette tape. <laughs> and it used to go... <laughs> as it was loading up. I mean, those games used to take... <gasps> My God, what, 30 to 40 minutes to upload um, by cassette? And that was every time you wanted to play it. Oh, God, I remember them times. It's not like instantly now that you can just chuck on your console or whatever. And then there was the Segas and then there's the Mega Drives and stuff like that. You know, when I was a kid, there was no such thing as the internet. Um, I don't know how... I don't know how people cut. I don't know. Well, we did because we didn't know anything about it, you know. For us back then, um, there wasn't such thing as the internet, so it was like snail mail or snail mail or snail mail. That was the kind of things that uh, we did. God, this is this is gonna a lot of digging, and this is gonna be a lot of. Is that all I've got so far is two? Oh, I really need to get some enchanting done, but I, I, I don't know whether I can't be bothered doing the enchanting lark. Um, whether it, whether I should. 
I might get myself off track again. Z Z Z Z Z X Sinclair. Yeah. I think that's that guy still around. Then I think there was an Amiga. Amiga 64, I think it was after that. And I play I used to play my first ever championship manager game. Oh god, I love them. I still like my football manager now. Uh, I don't play it anywhere near as what I, I used to do, but my god, I used to play that for hours. Especially on the on the the floppy disk. Good grief. I remember floppy disks. Oh that brings back a lot of memories. And uh, what was it? Civilizations were over there, and Pirates. There was a game called Pirates. Um, what else games were there? Oh. Then there was the Rambos, the Rambo series. And, oh, I still remember playing Pong, one of the very first ones. I don't really need all this, but. Uh, what else was there? Oh god! <laughs> there was absolutely tons and tons of games. So, question to all of you: What is your earliest memory that you can remember on a PC? If you're like 13, 14, and obviously you haven't got a much of a memory of them, um, but if you're an older person, um, you know what was your most popular game? God, I'm trying to think of my. I think I spent hours on Manic Miner was my favourite game. Or Jet Set Willy. I remember Jet Set Willy. Pac-Man was another game. I used to spend hours on Pac-Man. I used to go to a level 100 in like seconds because I played that game so much. Good God. That was that was happy days, that was. I can't believe we'd, I'm, I'll probably spend the whole of this video just sitting talking about all the stuff. But I remember... The ZX Betcha was so expensive. Um, I think it was like two, three hundred pounds. And I mean, back then, and we're talking about early 80s, it was quite a lot of money. I mean, the average wage wasn't that high, especially in England. Um, so, you know, I know my mum and dad couldn't really afford it, but you know, I had three sisters and well, we kind of like said to them, Right, we want this. So we did like a joint birthday, Christmas type thing. Because my birthday's in December anyway, so... <clears throat> I kind of had it um, as a joint... Oh, hello. I don't really like you, so... Right, um, let's see what we've got. Uh, let's just get rid of all of this. And... That one's going and that one's going to go soon anyway, so I'll put that up there. I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. And we'll, we'll start building. Um, I think we'll start building the towers first. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, <laughs> I did it wrong. Oh, God. So what, what 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 can we what can we talk about? Um, let's get, let's get, give me some ideas in the comments. What you know? What kind of? The only thing I'll stipulate is I will not discuss my time in the army. That is past. It's something that I don't particularly want to discuss anymore. Um, no, and then my other half, I, we don't really talk about it at all. It's just wasn't a nice experience and it's something that um, I don't even think I'll, I'll, I'll tell the kids about because they don't want it they don't need to know that kind of stuff uh, it wasn't nice uh, I did rough it for about a year when I came out because I was disillusioned with stuff um, so I just went travelling for a year when I came out um, and then I went back home and that wasn't a pleasant experience um, and luckily my, my sister said come on, come live with, with us and that was uh, back in Cheltenham that was um, 
So I got really close to my sister, that's the one who passed away a couple of years ago. Um, but I never liked my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law is a complete cockhead. A complete cock. Um, I don't really care if he, listen, he wouldn't listen to this anyway. My oh God, he was an idiot. He still is an idiot. He's not saying in the past tense. He still is an idiot. Um, but everybody, uh, everybody has their, their their family members that they detest. So I just happen to have quite a few of the my family members that I detest. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the the timber mod. Right, let's get rid of this. These need to be chopped down. All right, this is going to be a big episode, I think. All right, we'll start. All right, um, do we do the towers? Let me do the towers first. All right, because yeah. we're going to need absolutely loads, and I'm just going to dig, as you see it. No, not like that though. Uh, like that. So, yeah, um, <laughs> so I was talking about the internet and stuff like that, you know, I, when I think about it now, obviously back then we didn't even think about stuff like that, it was like, oh let's, you know, even computer games weren't really that in when I was a kid, because they were so crap. I mean, going back then, the graphics were, what, 64-bit and stuff like that, and 8-bit, and, oh, God, uh, there was, like, Pong was, like, the greatest hit of the, the year, um, and mostly, and then it was, like, on TV, like, TV shows that I remember as a kid. I mean, the music when I was about, um, as a, a pubescent teenager, and we're talking about 13, 14 years old, um, was, you know, the hit was I Should Be So Lucky by Kylie Minogue. That's what was in our kid charts. That was the, the kind of pop era that I grew up in. Um, and I can honestly say I can't really stand that music. But um, I had no choice when it went back. When you look back on it. I still know all the words to every single fucking song, though. That's one sad, sad day is when I know... All the all the words to "Hey Mona" by Craig McLaughlin, and "I Should Be So Lucky" by Kyla Minogue, and Ten Good Reasons" by Jen Jason Donovan. Uh, that was all it was when um, what back in eighty seven. Good grief! That's so long ago now. Eighty seven. You're talking about twenty four years ago. Eighty seven. Yeah. Good grief. Right, uh, um, I just thought of how am I going to get down from here. I didn't really think of that, did I? I'm just like building towers uh, and stuff. Okay, I wondered what that was then. Okay, the, the, like that. And uh, it's quite. Oh, I just can't believe I like that kind of music. Oh, and another one was, uh, I've probably mentioned this one before, was Martika. Good grief, did I have a teen crush on that one. And now, looking back on it now, God, she's ugly. She's like the back end of a brush. A used brush. She, she's not very nice. That's one person who didn't look after themselves. I mean, and now another, another one was Gloria Estefan and... Ooh, Belinda Carlisle, and then was John Bon Jovi was like around that era, era as well, and ACDC and White Snake and Thunder, you know, Thunder and White Snake and ACDC was the kind of music that I was into. I liked the. Oh, and, and there was another one as well, which is Genetexi by Vanessa Paradis, who was actually the same age as me. Um, but God, she. She's one that hasn't aged very well, either. Oh, Miss Gappy Tooth. I'm quick to 
judge people, but I don't care. Oh, that's it. Are we out? I think we're out. Right. I can use all that. I forgot about that. Alright. Um. Oh, coke. I don't really need that, but... Okay, right. I think we're going to end, end the video there. Uh, right, that's another bit that I've started doing. Um, and we're going to build a, a big castle. I'm not going to build any of this off camera. Um, I'm just going to build it and talk as we carry on. Okay, take care everyone. Bye bye.